Hey everybody, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. We're not at the farm, as you can tell. If you're new to my channel, my name's Leslie. I say welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we've been at the farm. We've been, we've done our chicken chores, and now we're headed to the doctor. And um, who knows what else is gonna be on this video, so stay tuned. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Okay, so like I said, we're going to the doctor. This is Bryant's checkup since his ablation, his heart ablation in June. So this is going to be the first time he's seeing the doctor since then. So uh, we're hoping he says, you're good to go. You can come off blood thinners. We're, we're hoping he just takes good care of him and so forth, but we'll see. Um, he hasn't really had any AFib since his ablation. He's had some flutters. flutters that he thought he might be fixing to go into AFib, but then it never really did. So he's actually done really, really well. So we're going to go to the doctors. Um, like I said, we did our chicken chores this morning. And um, I know he's got a lot of hay stuff to do when we get home. And I got to show you guys my pickled cabbage. Uh, I'm going to taste it tonight at supper. Oh, I forgot to lay out my shrimp. Anyway, I'll, um, I'm going to taste it tonight at supper and let you guys know if it's good, but I tell you, it is the most beautiful stuff in the world. It is so pretty. So pretty. All right, so we'll see you once we get to the doctor's. All right, everybody. He got a good report. He's off some of his medicine. Doing good. And so he stopped to celebrate. I've never seen these. Oh, they're delicious. Have you had them? Yeah. No, I haven't had that brand, but I had them when I went to that food show. Oh, chicken cracklings. Yes, it's chicken let's, skin. Let's try it. It's delicious. Go. I'm gonna turn the camera around. You want a piece? Yeah. Are they barbecue? Yes, barbecue. You like it? Well, I'd prefer regular. Mm -hmm. I feel good. Mm -hmm. um, let me see how healthy it is. 70 calories, 4 grams of fat, 1 half saturated, a little high in sodium. 1 carb. Um, no carbs. No carbs. I had them at a food show one time, and they were so good. They, I mean, they were 10 times better than that, and that's really good. So, no, I don't want any more. All right. We're headed home. Hang on, he said. He's it's chewing. Nothing, nothing that I, go, I have to go get every day. But he's glad he tried it. But as a celebratory snack, I can have that. All right. Let's go get in the hay field. All right, I'm fixing to go get on the tractor and head to the hay field, but I wanted to show you how pretty these look. They actually look kind of a red on camera, but they're more of a deep purple. They are so, so pretty and so delicious. Um, I've opened one can and I'm going to have some with tonight's supper, but oh, it's so good. All right, guys, right now she's fueling up the tractor, um, getting ready to go to the hay field. There's the baler. There's the rake in the back. We run a, uh, it's a 500-gallon fuel tank right here that we fill up the tractors with. 
and uh, all the equipment. And this this also runs the generator. And uh, so, what are you doing, sweetie? Well, I was filling it up, but I stopped. You stopped? Yeah. Why'd you stop? I don't know. You didn't really stop. Oh, I didn't. Oh, it's still going. It's still going because there's a rock in it. I put a, <laughs> I put a redneck rock right there to hold it. So, uh, anyway. Um, so, tell him what you're getting ready to do. Get Ray K. Yep. Put it in the mound so he can bail it. Into what? Windrows. There you go. She said mounds, but it's okay. Same thing. It's the same thing. All right, guys, here we are. Finally made it to the hay field. There she is raking. She likes to do things slowly. I'd rather rake a little faster. Her brother's come to the field to help us a little bit. He's rolling hay. I got to go back and get the grease gun and do some little greasing on some stuff. She'll go up to the end of that row. She'll raise up the rake and then she'll turn around and she'll come back. And uh, she'll do that 45 dozen times. So just getting started, got three rolls on the ground. Got a late start because of my doctor's appointment. But it's okay, we got great weather. Sun shines about eight o'clock tonight. Today's Monday. I try to take Monday off from ministry. So uh, I got all day to work on this stuff. So here we go. Hay season, September 19th. All right, here she goes. She had to wait on the tractor to get by, the baler to get by. Okay, everybody, that didn't last long. I wasn't out there long at all. Um, my brother showed up, so he began to bail, which means Bryant raked. And um, there's probably not going to be any cooking on this video. Um, because I don't, I think Bryant's planning on bailing and raking until dark. So, I may be eating by myself and then fixing him something when he comes in. So, let me just show you what I'm going to have. And then I'll taste this um, cabbage for you. It is so good. It is so good. Um, it still has such a crunch. And... It's just going to make a great side dish. It's going to make a great topping for some kind of fish taco. Um, I, I'm excited to just try it with lots of things. So, that being said, let me give it a try. I did see this done on that 1870s Homestead YouTube channel. That's where I got the idea from. And I used just a basic three cup water, three cup sugar, three cup vinegar. I mean, just three, same Across the board. Three to three to three. <laughs> one to one ratio. All right, so let me get it out and I'll give it a try for you. And I'll show you what I'm going to fix myself for supper. And then I'm going to end this video so I can get it out to you. Hold on, let me grab it. Okay, so for my supper, I think I'm going to just fix these seafood burgers, shrimp burgers, um, that I got at Trader Joe's. And they've been in my freezer for quite a while. And so I'm going to fix those tonight. Whip up a little bit of a, I don't know, kind of a sriracha mayonnaise, maybe a spicy mayonnaise. And I'm going to try some of my peach salsa with it. And I may use a cauliflower round as a, just a little bread substitute. Uh, I know you guys have seen those. If you've watched my channel any length of time, you know how much I love those. So this is what I'm going to fix it in the air fryer. I don't know if there's air fryer instructions, but... We shall figure it out. And if there's not air fryer instructions, I usually pretty much go by the conventional oven, but just shorten the time um, a little bit. So um, that's what I'm going to have for supper. So now let me grab that cabbage so you can see me try it. Once I pop the top on those, anything I can, I've bought some of these plastic lids that I really enjoy using when I stick it in the refrigerator. Y'all forgive my hair. I just came in from the hay field. So, I think maybe next time I may give it just a little bit more vinegar, but I think this is, it's actually perfect. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? Whoops. Gotta have a bigger bite than that. Y'all, 
could just snack on that. So good. <laughs> Some of the vinegar went down the wrong pipe. Ooh. Um, that is so good. So very good. And I love it very much. I have a feeling I'll be canning this every year. So, y'all, let me tell you, my house is a disaster. A disaster. We have been chickens, church, hayfield, doctors, and no time here at home. And I've been trying, what little time I am at home, I have been trying to can a little bit. So, my house is, I mean, a disaster. It's bad. So, anyway. I don't know when it's going to get cleaned up because Bryant had a doctor's appointment today in Greensboro, which is about 40 minutes away. Um, we both have our yearly physicals tomorrow, and that'll be the first time I've been to the doctor since all my weight loss and all that good stuff. So I'm anxious to see how my blood work and everything is. So excited about that. Bryant got a good report today. He gets to come off some of his medicine. And... So yeah, but hopefully, it, there's no end in sight on the hay, hay time. He's trying to get it all done this week because we have beautiful weather all week. But he's dependent on me to rake, and I don't rake very well. I Ted, I don't rake. <laughs> and so I'm learning a new skill, which I it, totally advise everybody to do. If there's something you don't know how to do, Get out of your comfort zone. Learn how to do it. There's not a whole lot to it. It's just you have to lift the levers and turn around. And you're trying to beat the baler. And it's... Ugh, I just don't like it. I feel pressure. I feel lots of pressure um, doing the the raking. Love Tedding. Love Tedding. Got that down pat. But anyway. Alright guys. I'm going to end this video so I can get it out to you. <clears throat> I know it was kind of a hodgepodge and I'm so sorry. During hay season, during the busy farm times, that's kind of what is gonna, my channel is going to be. Um, I do hope to do some cooking this week. I just don't know when. So anyway, I'm going to get these, me at least, a shrimp burger in the air fryer and I can't wait to try my peach salsa. Hey, I may bring you that may be on tomorrow night's video. I may show you me trying this and that on tomorrow night's video with my peach salsa. So, okay guys, I'll see you next time right here on The Farming Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye y'all.